Uh, in this example, the thing that's tricky about this one, normally with uh, with base, uh, the bases, we like to think of them as like the top and the bottom, but that's not quite always the case. It's got to be the two pieces of the same. And so when we look at this particular example, well, this particular example, the pieces that are the same, the identical pieces, would be these triangles on each end, okay? So these triangles represent the base of this thing, okay? And so when I talk about the base and the height, well, the bases are the triangles because it has to be the two faces that are the same. But then the height is the piece that connects those two triangles. And so I think about it, this three doesn't connect those, this four doesn't connect those. The piece that connects those would be this guy right here, okay? That's the measurement that connects those two bases. So that's going to be my height this time, okay? And so once again, I'm going to do area of the base times the height. So that's my volume. Area of the base times the height. And so the area of the base this time, this time the base is a triangle. And so to find the area of a triangle, I do one half its base times its height. Okay, so that's how I find the area of this triangle. Well, the area of this triangle then, well, that's going to give me a, a six. And that's square centimeters, okay? So I find the area of the base. The base just happens to be a triangle this time, so I do one half base times height. I do my formula for a triangle. And now when I come back over here for volume, I say, hey, the volume equals, well, the area of the base was six square centimeters times the height, which is also six square centimeters, or uh, six centimeters this time. And so when I multiply this out, I get 36, and that's going to be cubic centimeters, okay? So I identify the shape of the base, I find the area of that base, and then I multiply that area by the height to get my volume, okay?